hello welcome back to my channel thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today exactly as you are thank you so much for giving me the space to be here today exactly as i am good morning it is september 1st sunday let me word that better good afternoon now because it's 12 11. my outfit is practically channeling fall channeling fall comma practically because it's still supposed to be 80 degrees today but it's september 1st which means it's fall i try not to like rush through seasons the moment september hits i do think it's fall even if it is still technically 80 degrees outside anyways i digress new seasons mean change it means evolving growing progressing everything is unfolding exactly as it should and that is something that I've forgot to tell myself lately. Everything is progressing as it should. Everything is unfolding in the exact way that it's supposed to. I did want to show you all this package I got from an internet friend. A few months ago, I won a giveaway with Pisces Sun, Taurus Moon underscore, or through fairy lenses on instagram and they're a photographer then they were they hosted like a um kind of like introductory giveaway situation i've been internet friends with her for a few months now like mutuals on instagram and yeah anyways i ended up winning the giveaway and i got some photography prints from her as well as like a little birthday present and I just wanted to show off the photos, of course, because they're amazing photos. And the little, like, bonus birthday present she sent me, which was so cute. I wasn't expecting this at all. I did film me opening this a few days ago, but my phone ended up running out of storage halfway through. And I wasn't at home. I was filming in my truck, so I couldn't run and get my camera. Like, that wasn't possible even though it's already opened i decided i still want to show you all because everything is so freaking cute in this little pouch situation she had like a sticky note and it said happy birthday she included sage from her garden which is so cool and i love these little vials so much she also included some crystals she included like a little palm stone that's bloodstone jasper and then she included this crystal as well which i'm not entirely sure what it is i haven't looked it over to like do any research on it she did include some shells for me to make jewelry with and they're so cool i've never worked with like, tringle charms in any of my jewelry and then last but not least she included a little friendship jar literally the cutest thing on the face of the planet oh my gosh i've never been made something like this before i don't know that's just the cutest fucking thing ever that was that was just like a little bonus surprise i wasn't expecting any of that at all moving on to the big guns all of these are so freaking perfect came packaged in a little like file folder to protect them and she included this one postcard which is so cool she included a letter as well she has a sweet little letter talking about her the photos included in here and kind of like what they mean to her she included an extra print because she didn't she said that she didn't like how blurry one of them looked but honestly like if she didn't say anything i wouldn't have noticed here's one a little like crystal tower with a crystal angel and then this one which is a gorgeous floral print this one is my favorite i love this one so much i feel like it's perfect for fall granted like the prints on my wall i don't change out seasonally or anything but as soon as i saw this i was just like this is fall this one which she said that this one was published in a magazine i do believe like this was one of her first photos to win an award and i just think that looks so cool i love an old truck oh this one is signed by her that is so cool last but not least there is this moon photo i don't know the exact orientation i think this one this moon photo which honestly i love this is the one that she said she thought came out a little blurry i honestly i think it looks so magnificent it is still so pretty to me as also you can probably tell like none of my prints or photos or anything are in frames but just with the manner of these photos especially like the glossiness on them i want to put them in frames like they 
deserve to be on frames. I don't want to stick tape on the back of them and hang them up on my wall. Like I want to find the perfect frames to put these in so I can showcase them in the way that they deserve. It's going to take a minute for me to hunt down the right frames, but whenever I do, I will of course share with you all everything. And of course, check out Haley on Instagram. She has a main account, Pisces Centaurus Moon, or her photography account through Fairy Lenses. I'm just so grateful for her. I'm so grateful to have met her like over the internet. Created a little friendship connection with her. It feels so nice to create like friends on the internet. Anyways, I don't really know what I have planned today. I feel like I've had my head in the sand and I'm gently trying to pull myself out of that. Hello. Hi. It is quite a bit later since I last talked to you all. I didn't vlog anything today because I was pretty well editing for most of the day. The last clip that you guys saw was me reading off to the races in the woods with some trees. I was, realistically, I was sitting in my truck. I brought my Kindle down there. I've been doing that the past few days just because it's a nice change of setting. I started off to the races and I don't know if I mentioned it but I have the second book downloaded. Like I had that downloaded before I had the first one but then I was like why don't I just start from the beginning because it's the second book. That is exactly what I did and I'm currently I'm on page 101 28% of the way through and I'm really liking it so far. I'm very much liking Vaughn and Billy's banter. I'm very much liking Elsie Silver's writing style. I foresee myself enjoying this book a lot and she has so many more books for me to read if that's the case. This, this is my first Elsie Silver book. This is a part of the da -da, Gold Rush Ranch series. I've heard People talk about Chestnut Springs a lot. There's already been a character in here who's mentioned Chestnut Springs. I'm gonna wait to talk about it more so I can get more of a gist so I'm not fumbling my way through a description. Pretty well, I got everything that I wanted to. I started editing the vlog that I talked about. I did journal too, which felt really nice. I journaled probably a good three or four pages. It just felt really nice to get things off my chest. I didn't finish my listings. That was the one thing I didn't do. I'm probably just gonna curl up in bed and read more of Off to the Races. It's almost nine o'clock and I do have work tomorrow. It's almost eight o'clock, so it's nighttime and I have my bedtime tea, bedtime tea blend from Yogi. And this is the quote tonight. I did just wanna come on here and give a bit of a reading update. Ooh. I don't really know how much I talked to you about Off to the Races. I think the last thing I said was that I wanted to read more of it before I gave you the full gist. I mean, I finished it. I'm done with it. I just finished it and I jumped right into the second one. I loved it. I loved it so much. I don't know if it's a five star. I don't because I think earlier I said a five star needed for me to have like all the feels. I really enjoyed it. I think I would give it like a good like four and a half stars, but I don't necessarily think five stars. I am jumping right into the second book. I've actually already started it. I'm only, I think I'm like page two. I'm excited. I'm fresh off of Vaughn and Billy's romance. Just from like what I gathered from Violet, I feel like she's a little bit more reserved. So I don't know if this book will be quite as steamy, but if Cole, Vaughn's brother, is anything like Vaughn in bed, then it'll be pretty steamy in like that aspect. Before I get too far into a photo finish, which is the second book in the Gold Rush Ranch series, I may journal. Cute. Cute. 
the cutest thing just happened. Page like 370, 371 in photo finish. Mm -hmm. I have finished the photo finish and I liked it. I liked it a lot. I'm also giving it like a four, four and a half stars and I'm going to start on the third book shortly. But I do have a couple of things that I need to get done today. I want to show you all my outfit. I'm probably going to end up changing because it's already a little too warm to be wearing this. But I want it to be fall. Like, look at how cute this is. So cute. Thrifted this sweater. A co-worker gifted these to me. They're from American Eagle. And I don't know. I feel a little like... I'm not a big fan of all those like micro trends. But this feels a little like coastal cowgirl to me. Like, I don't know. It's cute. And just talk to you all because I was editing through my last vlog. I wasn't as chatty as I have been. Like, I was chatty. But I would go on these tangents and not get back to the original point. I'm trying to make an effort to like start at point A and get to point B. And not jump around so much because that does just make my editing really strenuous. I think I mentioned that I had like a few listings to get through before my shop update today because it is September. 3rd it's Tuesday sit down and do that I'll probably put a YouTube video on in the background I have a pot of tea brewing on the stove but until that's ready I'll be having a bubbler the blood orange mango ones I know probably like the last time I vlogged like before I took a break I was talking about how much I loved bubblers and I've laid off of them for the past few months because as it started getting warmer, I started drinking more tea. I've just been craving that bit more of carbonation lately, and I don't know if that has to do with stress or what. It's wild what a difference of like having a loose schedule planned out makes in the ease of my day. Like I've always kind of like loosely planned things out in a planner. I'm back and forth between being on track with that and then falling off the bandwagon. The past two days at least like I've sat down the night before and in like time blocks kind of planned out what I've wanted my days to look like and I haven't been like super strict with holding myself to them each day but it's just like so nice to have a loose plan of like what to do instead of and like here's what I need to do and feeling scattered brained about what to tackle first because I've already thought about it I already know what I want to tackle first wow mind-blowing logic right like I know that's nothing new but it's new for me it feels like almost invigorating in a sense like this morning I've already gotten laundry done I did a machine cycle and I just finished doing a hand wash cycle like they're hanging out to dry the machine laundry is in the dryer as well I've made a necklace for a co-worker as a birthday present I'm getting ready to make some more jewelry or not jewelry but j clips and it's only 10 30 in the morning usually on days that I work especially in the mornings be really slow because in a way like I'm really precious of my downtime like but then I end up feeling like unproductive and lazy this morning I gave myself time to read I gave myself an hour to read and I'm giving myself three or four hours of productivity and I'm only giving myself like two hours of downtime all before work magnificent I've been making jewelry for a good chunk of the day. I had a shop update and I haven't had too much online traffic. Granted, I haven't really advertised it. I brought all of my wares into my workplace and they ended up pretty well like buying all of my necklaces that I had available so I decided that I needed to sit down and actually make some jewelry. I've gotten three beaded necklaces done today which is pretty good considering I started I want to say at like 11 o'clock and it's almost two probably an hour on each necklace I would say but here is one this is 
the shortest the three i love this i love the gray green blue it has green adventuring chatoyant green moonstone fluorite agate amazonite labradorite did i already say green adventuring and then I've been holding on to this pendant for months. I got this pendant in the spring and I I love it so much. And I just, I couldn't bring myself to use it, even though I can totally get more of them. But it is an ammonite pendant. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It is perfect freaking fall tones. This one has mookite, jasper, citrine, plated quartz crazy lace agate citrine i love the warm tones of it the browns yellows reds and i wanted to incorporate like the spiral of kind of like the ammonite in these spiral ceramic beads it's always hard to pick a favorite necklace that i make because they're like children and then the last one the last of the bead necklaces this stunning moon pendant with some freshwater pearls flower lapidolite amethyst obsidian black rutile quartz labradorite again and this gorgeous like maroon i can't think of the name right now but if i can I'll put it in white and purple beads here. Ooh, also some garnet as well, smoky quartz. I wanted to give them their moment and I feel like my face in the background was like a parent lurking at the kid. I'm giving myself a bit of a break because my laptop needs charging. The battery life on it is absolutely awful. I've been itching to get back to my book because I'm almost done with it. I'm 91% of the way through my book. I have two chapters left and then the epilogue and then I'm finished. Part of the Raven Prince and this is part of the Entangled with Faye series. The series is on my fall TBR. Getting a good start on it and i like the series so far but i'm not in love with them like i can put it down you know i don't i have to keep on reading and reading and reading at least what i've noticed with, like her writing it doesn't really like pick up any until like halfway through which these are slow burn i think once i finish this book i'm gonna jump over to something else to give myself a bit of a break and then i may end up coming back to this series I think the only thing I've filmed so far today is unboxing my phone. I upgraded my phone a 333 right now. It's the iPhone 15 Pro. I didn't want to give up three cameras. I don't know why. I need to start packing for my cruise because it is... I... Good thing that's my old phone is the 17th. It's Tuesday. Just feel like that word perception of cruises is that they're cringy but i've never been on one and i'm honestly really excited we leave on sunday so i still have like five days but i work the two days right before we leave i can't really like save it until like last minute and like i said like since this is my first cruise i want to be prepared like i don't know i i'm usually like i am a chronic overpacker i'm only bringing like a carry-on size suitcase we're flying through spirit i didn't book the flights if i did i wouldn't have chosen spirit i'm talking like that like i've flown a lot i've only flown once i just know from hearing other people talk about it spirit isn't the best airline i'm only gonna have a suitcase and a backpack i picked up some things that i need tsa approved or whatever a couple of these things i ordered online they've came in over the past few days these like purple travel bottles that are cute and functional which are best of both worlds my favorite and then i got liquid iv which i've never tried this before whenever i went kayaking a guy on the float trip swore by these 
and I got the hydration multiplier and immune support one. I got this one specifically because it had like the immune support and I don't want to get sick flying and being on a boat surrounded by a whole bunch of people. I don't know. And then everything else is just like little travel bottles that I picked up today. So the first one, Dramamine and Aleve. I am usually like not one to take like Aleve or like ibuprofen or anything, but if the time comes and I need it, I wanna have it. And I also, I don't know if I get motion sickness because like I said, this is my first cruise and the last time I was on an airplane, I was detoxing from alcohol. So who really knows if I get sick from that? But I have Dramamine, just in case I do. A wrinkle release spray. Someone in my family who like gone on a lot of cruises wears by this stuff. We're gonna take it. We're gonna see what happens. I hope it works. Last two things are just a little bottle of TheraBreath and Sensodyne Pernamel Toothpaste. Electronics kind of like cord and battery organizer situation. But I do have a decent amount of cords and chargers that better than like rolling them all up and stuffing them in like a small pocket that will all be compact and neat in this case right here. Last night I finished the first book in the Chestnut Spring series, Flawless. So I haven't had anything to read today. I really liked Flawless, like four and a half stars. Very good. Very, very, very good. I have a soft spot for cowboys. Oh my god. Especially fucking bull riders. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, I've always had like a dream to like, I want to go to like a fucking PBR. I want to go to a PBR, like, I don't know what it's called, show, like one of those professional bull riding shows. There's one like an hour and a half away from me. And I've just never gone because I don't want to look like a poser. Obviously, I look like a poser. It just looks so fun. I am from like a very small town and most of the people in my town are farmers. I just did not grow up in a farm. I live, I live in town, so I've never rode a horse or anything like that. But I have grown, around, grown up around farmer culture and everything. I think instead of starting a book, I actually need to start packing, like I said. I've just been kind of like running around doing errands for the most part for a good majority of the morning but I just got back home and I have a package that I picked up from the post office. Ooh, perfect. I got some rust colored pillowcases to kind of refresh up my bed setup. I think earlier in the month I decided that I wanted to get just like a cute fall throw blanket and some fall colored pillowcases because the pillowcases on my bed right now are giving summer. They're very much, they're light blue. I wanted to flip it over to something a little more fall light. I like it a lot. I think it matches this blanket that I just picked up pretty well. Mm -hmm. 